Hello friends, this is another day. And why multi-heads is not for me. I have been interested in multi-heads for a long time and I have been discussing multi-heads with many of his pioneers. James Warren, Jim Brown, Walter Green, Dick Newick, John Shuttleworth, the Gurdjian brothers, Mike Birch, Tom Fordert, Nigel Irons, Derek Kelsell and Phil Weld. 1962, I read Hadron and Hornell's Canoes of Oceania. First time I met James Warren and Ruth was in 1963. It was in Dublin. I spent a few days with them on Rongo discussing the multi thing. I was already an active member of the Amateur Yacht Research Society and had been correspondence with John Moorwood. 1967, I was in London to Manda stand at the Earth School Sports Show. And this is, I still have this thing. And this is what I was called then, Sven Dundin, an exhibitor, A-R-S-Y-S. You can't really see this, it's, but this is true. And then 1975, 76, I worked with Dick Newick for nearly one year. And this is what he wrote for me, Dick Newick. From July, 1975 to March, 1976, Sven Dundin worked with me on several difficult design and construction projects. I was impressed with his ability to apply practical and original sort to design problems. He takes time to do good work. Richard Cooper knew it. And then, where was I? <laughs> Multi the reason I'm telling you this above here is to validate my claim that I'm familiar with the multi health question. Multi health can be fast, they have mostly shallow draft, which I like, they have a lot of deck space but there is a dark side to them. And the more I learn, the less suitable I find them for me. They are resource intensive. They take up a lot of harbor space, but worst of all, they are dangerous because when they flip, they stay upside down. Feel well. I knew him well because Dick made one of his designs. I first met in 1975 in the Caribbean, in Martinique. He decided Gulf Stream for him, but it was flipped in the, on his way to the 1976 Ulster. And he stayed four days upside down before rescued. The other Dick Newick design, three shears, was lost in the same race. Alain Collin in Pendic 4 was lost in a later race. There have been many more accidents, but these boats have been involved with. For me, to build a much smaller multi hull, this were like 60 feet, would be unsound. I like to sail the lonely, cold, high latitudes where often strong winds dominate. That's not place is suitable for a small multi -hull. I'm making this video about multi because frequently there is comments on my videos that I shall turn my boot into a multi -hull. I believe it is for me sane to stay away from them. There are others, people with different values. This video is just to let you know my opinion, how I stand in this question. This is what I think about multi -head. I don't think they're suitable for me. Some other people are okay with, but not for me. So this is a longer answer to the, all these people who are telling me to turn this into a multi -head. So thank you for today.